a very small um, space of land, you can feed a lot of people in an eight by ten off of an eight by ten garden, which is really not a huge amount, a huge garden. Um, so there's just like so so many directions that we can go in with the very with like you know small small smaller resources. Yeah, and we've seen at the city the community gardens that um, we run in the across Winooski are one of our more successful programs at actually, you know, building relationships and mm -hmm. and folks are really engaged in that. Um, we also know that there is there is a need, a lack right now of youth programming that is, I don't want to say effective, but like what youth want. Mm -hmm. um, and I wonder. Have you been engaged with the kids that you're already working with to like, has that informed what your vision is for this youth center in the future? I mean, yeah, for sure. Um, so part of it would be like, you know, traditional like workout equipment, but then we have like a quiet space for like meditation. Um, and we'll have places for them to do like if they need to do homework and stuff, uh, that as well. Um, but um, for as far as like the, we, <laughs> there's a, there's just, there's a there's a, a huge demand for what we're doing. We just don't have the space. Mm -hmm. So I just I don't know how to say that. As I have a lot of well, kids. Like the that... biggest hump, yeah. The the biggest hump that we need to get over currently is is initial investment. You know, so in order to apply for a lot of these grants that are available, there there are a lot of um, there are a lot of infrastructure grants out there, but unfortunately, well, not unfortunately, but Fortunately, unfortunately, they're often grant matching um, grants, which means that we need to find X amount of money and then take that money and show the government, the state, that we have done all this work, that it's needed in the community, wanted in the community, and then they'll give us <laughs> the funds that we need to actually build the space. So right now we need corporate sponsorship, we need support from, you know, the city, we need, we need, need financial support from donors, you know, overall, so that we can get there. So whether you give $5 or $500, every amount counts. Help us build the Winooski Youth Center. How can folks learn more about the foundation and make donations if they wish. Is there like a website or some information you can share? Is vtfightforkids.org. vtfightforkids.org? Yeah. And they can find out information about the organization, how to make donations and everything from there. Do you have any, um, oh, go ahead, Gita. Sorry, also uh, we're, we're currently working on a, um, a smaller funding drive uh, not only to present to the community and to future donors what we're capable of doing, um, but we're working also with the state of Vermont on um, uh, uh, on a Better Places um, placemaking grant, which will allow us to offer some programming through the summer. And that is that website is patronicity.com/fkf. Repeat that, please. Pa patron the city? Patronicity.com backslash FKF. Okay, thank you. And, and what that is is a program that we'll be doing during the summer. It's called <clears throat> Sweat, Flicks, and Chill. And so it's an open air workout, open to the community, anybody of any ability or ages. Um, it's a, like a 45 minute workout. And then we have food that's going to be there. And then we have a, a open air movie that's going to play. So kind of like what Benny Jerry's does on Church Street. We'll do the same thing here in Winooski. That's awesome. That sounds like a really good way. You know, here's an event folks can attend and learn more. Um, intergenerational, yep. bring folks together. Bring folks together that wouldn't normally be together. Um, and, and you don't have to do every part. You know, maybe you want to just come for the food. Maybe you want to come for the flicks. Maybe you want to do all of the above. But it's there for you. Yeah, and I, I want to go back to something Gita said about funding. You know, this is often how government grants work that the city goes after as well. Like you have to prove some plans and some some backing. And so the city council has supported your foundation um, and written some letters of support. And we um, appreciate that. Because we do believe that what you are working towards is really gonna be helpful for the community. Um, and finding that match money is always a challenge as well. You know, you, I know you all are doing a lot of hard work going out there seeking grant funding. Um, but like you said, the 
the corporate sponsors or larger, large and small donors, frankly, make a, a big difference. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And just to say, um, through the through the funding that we've been doing with um, with the Better Places, we have had some bigger and smaller donors, and we've had a lot of people, um, you know, giving little little small sums, and everything helps. Like it's all it's all amazing, and we just like we appreciate people getting behind us. We are this close to actually receiving the grant. So if anybody's out there and they want to see it happen, we're just a few hundred dollars away from actually achieving our goal. So, oh, that's amazing. Um, I, I also want to say something about, you know, the city of Winooski used to have a youth center. Um, this is before I was serving in this role, so I'm not super familiar with the details of that. But I know it hasn't been there for a while, and there's. It, it's been a gap in the community, right? For sure. And the Winooski Press Building, um, I'm sure many community members are familiar. It's its sort of like a little bit of Winooski history. It is really close to the school and to areas where we know a lot of young, there are like more families with youth, with kids. Um, and so that location is actually really ideal. Mm -hmm. And so being able to bring a resource like this where kids already are, um, where they're already passing through, is going to be impactful. And I have heard many times when I have met with, you know, high school students at the district, you talked about like quiet space for meditation or doing homework. I know that's a challenge a lot of kids face. We have a lot of larger families in Winooski in smaller housing, and they really don't have space to go that's quiet or for privacy to get that sort of thing done. Right. Um, so there's. I, I feel like there's a, a couple of levers you're hitting on or, or needs that we have in Winooski. Um, are there any, beyond like funding, are there any supports that you all are looking for in current programming? Or are you really focused on this new effort and this big project for the Youth Center? I mean, right now we're trying to stay super focus on because it's a it's a huge endeavor mm -hmm. and uh that that's pretty much our main our focus we have uh down the line we'll we'll take like you know volunteer i mean if someone wants to uh give their information like we, we've created a list we have some people that want to volunteer to be teachers and oh, great. you know help with the program the actual program that we'll be doing at the center but if we don't have a center then we don't need to teach it you know? yeah yeah <laughs> so um so yeah, so we're trying to stay focused on like achieving that, uh, and then you know, but like like with the the sweat flicks and chill, there are other things that we're doing within the community, uh, but our main focus right now is to uh, accomplish the Winooski Youth Center. Mm -hmm. And for the sweat the sweat flicks and chill, can you share the dates and location of that for folks? The, the location will be thirty nine Union Street. And so we have to secure the grant first, which is how many more days are left with the grant? Is it six days? Uh, we have, I believe, eight days left. So, so we have, okay. So we have about a week left to raise maybe a thousand dollars, and then once we secure that grant, some that's again is also a, a matching grant. Mm -hmm. So um, we get that, and then we, from that grant, we purchase all of the things to create the space, um, to make it a community space. And then we provide, and we have vendors that will be providing. It'll be six weeks, and we have vendors that will be providing food. So it's going to be um, a really cool event. So come out for the food, come out for the fun, but just come out, you know. Yeah, when that's solidified, I'm happy to help put, promote that out and make sure that that info gets out to our community but, members. But we're looking at toward the end of beginning, like the end of July. Okay. Like first week of August, last week of July is when the first week should start. That's exciting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're going to get there. For sure. I believe. <laughs> I think so. Um, are there any other details you want to share, aspects of your project you want to talk about today? Um, I mean... I just, I just think that you know, it's a, it's a matter of gaining the traction that we need with the grants. It's like some of the grants they want to see, like the, you know, we just got the five hundred one c three like in January. So a lot of the grants they want to see, like, like work that you did to get mm -hmm. the money, but you can't show the work without the money. So it's like this big back and forth. 
um, if there are people out there like donors, whether it's large companies or people, um, you know, like uh, like the Palmer, what was what's the the center down O'Brien Center or like mm -hmm. the YMCA was is named now the Palmer Lou yeah. YMCA. So if there's somebody out there who would we could name the Winooski Youth Center after their family, we have no problem with that. Um, for anybody that wants to help us make this happen, um, we we we. We want the help. We we encourage the help. Partnerships. Yeah, we, you know, there's a big need in the community, and if we don't support our youth, support kids now, um, we're gonna. <laughs> it's it's we about have, our future, yeah, right? Yeah, for sure, for sure. This is a this is a service that we're trying to provide, and uh, yeah, we can, we can. I'm just saying, deal with them, but I mean that in a positive way. We can engage with them now, or we can engage with them later. And the later engagement is normally a negative one, you know? Mm -hmm. So we want to, pre prevention is better than the cure. So we want to give them the tools that they need to make good decisions so they, they not only can they finish school, but but get once past school, you know, make the right decisions in life to become, to be good citizens, to continue to be good citizens and good human beings. All right, can you share your website one more time? vtfightforkids.org vtfightforkids.org. I'll be sure to share that out as well. I really, I really I'm impressed by, you know, your energy and your commitment to this effort. Mm -hmm. And I really thank you both for taking the time to come speak with us today. I'm looking forward to sharing this story out with more members of our, our community to see, see what we can do. I appreciate you having us. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. Thank you for joining me for another episode of In the World of Winooski.